Hi, I'm Kate. This is part two of my two-part global snacks little series. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in part one was these, the German chocolate. My friend, um, Wow, I'm blanking on the name. My friend Julia brought these over one time that she visited. And I know her through my aunt, because she was once my aunt's foreign exchange student. So that's how I got to know her. Just wanted to mention that real quick. In this part, mostly, most of the snacks are Asian. So now we're going from Europe to Asia and everything, everything except for the Pocky, I bought at a local grocery store called BB's. And like I said in the first video, they sell like so many different foods for like really cheap. And it's really good if you're on a budget. And who knew that they sell they sold global snacks. There's just so many different kinds of snacks at that store. I'm starting with Pocky because they're the two sweets, two sweet, sweet snacks. These I found at the mall in Hot Topic. Did not expect to find Pocky at Hot Topic. Though so I think, I think they're becoming more common in like grocery stores around here in Pennsylvania. And these are a product of Thailand. And I got cookies and cream and strawberry. And I've never had Pocky before, but they just, like, I've seen other YouTubers try them, and they just look so good. It's like, well, and there's so many, I can't believe how many different flavors there are. That's right, and there's, like, there's supposed to be, like, three ways of opening them. But... Here I see one good way. Feels like there's a lot in here. It smells like strawberry. It's like a magic wand. Strawberry covered, covering like a shortbread cookie or like a little thin cracker you just got a thumbs up these are really good next is the cookies and cream I bet the chocolate banana one is really good, too. One of these days, I'll have to find more flavors. And this, this is a darker like, cracker cookie, so I guess that's chocolate. I like these more than the strawberry because I've always been a cookies and cream fan. But they're both excellent. So that was Thailand. 
snacks. Now we're moving on to some snacks that I'm not really sure about. Might like them, might not like them. I have two different kinds of crispy seaweed. I've only had seaweed in sushi rolls. I don't know if I'll like seaweed just by itself in a snack. And if I tried to pronounce anything that's not English, I'll probably mess it up. But this is the original flavor of this kind of snack. It says, delicious with good from the sea. Which that's, that doesn't even sound like correct. Correct grammar there, correct sentence. Uh, this is also a product of Thailand. And on the bag it has like this really cute like conveyor belt assembly line <laughs> cartoon on it. Okay, and this is the I said that this is the original flavor. And this has an easy to open seal. Maybe not so easy to open. There we go. Smells pretty good. Wow. Look at this. I thought they thought they would be like like smaller like that. But it's a really big strip. It's thin like paper. <laughs> Instantly, it felt like I was not having snack. It tasted like I was just having vegetables. Like, for dinner. I think in my first impression was that I just did not like it, but... I don't know, I might eat some more and like start liking it. I might acquire the taste. But it's definitely. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's different. And my taste buds just aren't really liking it. <coughs> aren't really liking it. The other flavor I have is one that I hope I pronounce right, Tom Yum Gung Gung Gung. So it looks like a seafood stew flavor. Maybe I'll like this one more than the original flavor. And again, it's got that cute animation, or not animation, cartoon on the back. Product of Thailand. It has a different smell. And I broke off a piece. It looks pretty much the same as the other, as the original.
This one has this, this one has better more flavor and better flavor. I don't know. The original was just so. I get needed more to it. It just it tasted healthy, like it was eating something that like I had to eat instead of a snack. Whereas this one just has so much more flavor. And it's got some heat to it. That's, that, that's good. Got a nice burn in my mouth. Everything I've tried so far has a thumbs up, <laughs> except for the original flavored seaweed. And everything in the part one video has a thumbs up too. All, all of that was really good. Next is something that I've seen a lot of different, there are a few different YouTubers try. And I think the general consensus is that, ew, no, they did not like it. Prawn crackers. I haven't, I don't know that I've seen anyone try this particular variety, but I've seen, I've watched people try prawn flavored, like chips or crackers. And it says, oh wow, on the back. Usually I like shrimp. I like prawns, you know. I know they're the same thing. We call them shrimp here. So I may like this or I may not like it. This is a product of the Philippines. Quite a few different ingredients. Oh, I finally need my scissors for something. I instantly smell the fishy fishiness. Some people hate that kind of smell, but I like it. It's like a little puffed, it's like a puffed snack, like a cheese puff. Crunchier than a cheese puff. not bad but they're not great either this one has like a... I'm unsure I kind of wish it was softer like like cheese curls usually are. I don't really like snacks that are like too crunchy. But yeah, I don't know. They kind of look like french fries. And the flavor isn't that strong. It's not like an overpowering, like, whoa flavor. It's just like Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm happy I got to try something prawn. That's definitely my least favorite. And it's not even because it's, well, I didn't really like these. These, they're not disgusting, but they're just, they're, they're kind of bland. 
Mm, I don't know, the flavor is just kind of... I don't know. Different. Like... Obviously different, because I've never had prawn crackers before. Never had prawn flavored snacks before, so... Okay, now we're done with Asia, and we're flying over to South America. I don't know why I said it like that. La, is that a C? Is that an O? Oh. Oh. Plantain chips. No salt added. Zero trans fat. There should be zero trans fat in like everything, right? Product of Peru. And store outdoor sunlight in a cool, dry place. I don't know if I like these or not. <clears throat> yep. Had bananas, but I've never had plantains. <clears throat> Let's use the scissors. I assume these will be sweet. Not sweet. They're almost like having a regular potato chip. But not as crunchy. They're kind of... They're a bit... They're a bit soft. These are very close to being potato chips. And I wouldn't mind if there were, was some more salt added to them. They're pretty good. I'm sure these are better for me than potato chips. So, if I can find these again. And yeah, you can see the price right there. This was only 75 cents at BB's. So, that store in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. That's kind of prices, you'll see. Not for everything, though. Final snack is a Product of me made made in Mexico, Mexico. And it was actually my grandma that gave me a bag of this. This bag, because she found it at Giant. But like, I knew I've seen these like on YouTube somewhere before, and I knew that they weren't. They weren't like a USA thing, a USA product. Although it says he distributed from tech by Texas, a bar seller in Texas. Made in Mexico. Takis, Fuego. I think Fuego means hot. Hot chili pepper and lime flavor. Made in Mexico. So I saved spicy for last. I figured these would be the hottest. And the... The seaweed chips that had more flavor, that was a little spicy. 
In part one, I tried a crabby fry potato chip. That was a little spicy. But when you see hot chili pepper, I bet that's going to be pretty dang spicy. We'll see. Ooh, they're red. They are bright red. That chili pepper red. Like instantly, instantly like pepper dust hitting my tongue, just like, whoa. Yeah, taste the lime. It is really spicy, but very good. I could probably only have like a little handful of these at a time. I was right. Spicy. It was spiciest of what I tried. So that's it for my global snack. That's it for these videos of me trying global snacks. Maybe in the future, hopefully, I'll find some more and have a new batch to try for another video. Until then, this is Kate signing off. If you want to leave a nice comment below, you can. There'll be a link to part one in the description. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope I was loud enough and uh, had had personality. <laughs> so I'm not very experienced talking to a camera. So hope you all have a good day. Bye.